what is multi-touch attribution? And why is it better than single-touch attribution? Multi-touch attribution is a method of analyzing and assigning credit for conversions to all the channels that assisted in making the sale. If we do this systematically, we can understand the impact of different marketing channels on the customer journey. This allows us to understand the overall performance value of each channel we're spending our marketing budget on. Let's take an example of a new player who deposits $1,000 into the casino. Before making that deposit, the punter may have interacted with 15 different campaigns. Some were the casino campaigns, others were from affiliates. Each one of these campaigns played a proportionate part in convincing the punter to deposit. With multi-touch attribution, you'd credit each campaign that the punter interacted with. You divide that $1,000 between all the campaigns. With single touch attribution, you'd assign the $1,000 credit to just one single campaign, either the first one or the last one. Multi-touch attribution captures the true value of each touch point, while the single touch attribution ignores all touch points except one. This leads to a total lack of accuracy when you're analyzing and optimizing your campaigns. Without knowing the true yield of each campaign, it's impossible to make optimization decisions. And that's the world we're living in with single touch attribution. Multi-touch attribution is really the only way to go. I get the multi-touch attribution concept and why it's superior to single touch attribution, but how do you actually represent it in the Johava platform? Let's take a look at the dashboard. This is a showcase account running hundreds of campaigns. We're looking at the campaigns dashboard filtered to today with a comparison range of all time. The totals box shows we spent 30k and made 82k in revenue. This was produced by 225 sales. 700 campaign touch points attributed to these sales. 156 of those 700 were first click touch points. 154 were middle journey touch points. 145 were last click touch points. A single touch point means that there was only one touch point in the customer journey. This happened 69 times today. Forced attribution is a very exciting feature we've been developing, letting businesses give credit to campaigns that can't be tracked, like television ads. Our net for today is 52K. In the campaigns report, every row represents a campaign. This first campaign has 67 attributions with 12K revenue. This means it has contributed to the sale within the acquisition journey 67 times. The amount of income we credit to this campaign for each attribution is dependent on where it participated in the journey. It's up to us to define how every position is credited. The attribution model for this product is multi-touch U with a split of 30% for the first click, 50% for the last click, and all the middle clicks share the remaining 20%. Let me explain what this means in practice. Let's say a new customer purchased our product for $1,000. The first campaign in the journey would be credited with one attribution and $300. The last campaign in the journey would be credited with one attribution and $500. The rest would get one attribution each, while the income credit will depend on how many campaigns participated. If there were two campaigns, each one would receive $100. If there were four, each one would receive $50. You may have guessed it, but this means that each placement results in a different average attribution price for participating in the sale. This in turn affects the aggregated average attribution price. Now this is important. This means that the weight of each campaign in the customer journey is reflected mathematically by this aggregated average attribution price. So for example, both of these campaigns are promoting the same product, but the average attribution of this one is $181, while this one is $108. The weight of this campaign is more substantial because it has more attributions in the last and single touch points. We credit the most value to these positions in our definition. It's important to understand, while the average attribution price of one campaign is higher than the other, it doesn't necessarily mean it's more valuable. 
Look how the return on investment of this campaign is 143%, while this one is 231%. Return on investment is also dependent on conversion rate and the advertising cost. So average attribution price is not the only factor. Bottom line is that with applying credit to all touch points, you can measure your return on investment far more accurately. Joava actually collects data for first click and last click single touch attribution models in parallel to multi-touch attribution. I'll switch to a different scene on the dashboard which will show these two analytical universes side by side. Last touch attribution versus multi-touch attribution. I'm pretty sure nobody has ever seen such a comparison before. The only reason this is possible is due to Java's big data technology. It provides the speed and efficiency necessary to bring all this data together. This section is the multi-touch attribution breakdown we've been looking at until now. And these new columns are the last touch attribution stats. This campaign provided the last touch attribution to 48 sales. Note that this is equal to the last touch and single touch columns in the multi-touch attribution section. This gives us an indication that the data is correct. Check. Note how the average attribution price we're crediting in the last touch attribution section is the entire sale price, while in the multi-touch section it is much lower. Check. Notice how this campaign has an all-time net of 204k in the single touch section, while only 57k in the multi-touch section. This is a huge difference, don't you think? Check. You know what? In fact, look at all these net values side by side. The difference between them is like the difference between the sky and earth. You can see very well from this comparison that single touch attribution is incorrect at its core. Multi-touch attribution is the only way to go. I can't believe we've been doing optimization on single touch attribution modeling. It's completely off. We have been stopping and running campaigns on a completely wrong set of data. If we would be able to visualize multi-touch attribution in the way that Johava platform does that, we'll be in a completely other place. We'll be able to credit each campaign in the proportionate way it should get, and we'll be much more profitable on the bottom line.